Hi, this is going to be a really simple, quick tutorial about um, setting up depth of field in uh, Reshade using Cyberpunk. Um, it's pretty easy. You're going to want to open up Reshade and toggle on your effects. Um, I already have it lined up and everything, but I use cinematic D DOF. Um, for starters, you want to go to add-ons and make sure all these settings are clicked. Go back to your home page and go back to cinematic DOF. And you're going to want to make sure autofocus is clicked, not mouse driven autofocus. And then in order to line, line it up and bring everything into focus, you're going to want to use these sliders right here. The slider goes side to side. Well, this one goes up and down. You just want to bring everything into focus. Like so. And you can copy all of my settings here. I would recommend playing with some of these settings and um, if you get messed up during the process, you can reset all of them to default. Um, but I would recommend playing with all these settings just to see what works best for you. And then you can take a screenshot. You can also use um, ADOF2, that's another option. It works a little differently. Instead of using these sliders, you can use um, autofocus if you want to. I prefer not to use it, but you're going to want to use this slider, manual focus depth and it's going to bring, see how it brings it out of focus and then when you slide it a little bit more it's going to bring everything into focus. And again you can copy my settings and then tweak, tweak them on your own too. You can change the shapes of the bouquets. Um, you can change them to You can change them to circles, you can change them to like hexagons, just depends on what you want to do. And um, if you want more blur, you're going to select the Gaussian blur width, you're going to make it go higher, just depending on you know what you want. If you want to see the shapes more, you keep it at a lower blur width. Just let me know if you have any more questions. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much.